Blending modes, there are a lot of them. In fact, there are 27 found within Photoshop, but there are actually eight special blending modes that you can use to apply different effects to your photos. Today, I'm going to be discussing why they are different and how you can use them to improve your photography within Photoshop. And I'm going to start right now. So as I was saying, there are 27 blending modes found within Photoshop, but there are actually eight blending modes that are special. And the reason they are special is all to do with the projection of that layer. It all depends on how layers interact with each other, and some blending modes interact differently when you apply either opacity or fill. So let me show you in a practical way. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add a little bit more glow to this photo. So what we're going to do is going to go down to the uh, adjustment layer found in the bottom right hand corner, create a new layer. We're going to go ahead and use the brush tool found on the left hand side, and we're going to go ahead and use just white. And I'm just going to go ahead and dab just a few kind of dots here. So as you can see, it has added this kind of glow. Now, what we're going to do is we can use one of eight blending modes. These blending modes are Color Blurn, Linear Burn, Color Dodge, Linear Dodge Add, Vivid Light, Linear Light, Hard Mix, and Difference. These particular blending modes, Opacity and Flill, change all to do with the projection. Opacity just changes the transparency, but fill changes the projection. And in most cases, these are basically the same thing. And you can watch this video here discussing the differences. But these particular eight blending modes, the projection drastically changes the overall outcome. So let's go ahead and use this photo for example. We've done that, so let's go ahead and change this to color dodge. And as you can see, it looks quite good. So what we can do is go to the opacity and we go and drop that down. And as you can see, it just kind of just reduces the power of that effect. But if we go ahead down to fill and drop that, you can see how it interacts and mixes with the colors beneath it to create a completely different result. So we're gonna go ahead and go for an effect that looks a little bit like this. And as you can see, it is drastically different. And that's why opacity and fill are two separate sliders. It's all about the projection. So go and give these particular blending modes a go to see if they aid or hinder your photography techniques. Here is the before and here is the after. And let me know down in the comments below if this particular effect worked for you.